afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to XCOM. Last time we actually did, I think, pretty damn well. We took on a full contingent from a UFO that landed safely, which was weird, because it landed in, like, one of the two countries on Earth we actually had proper satellite and interceptor coverage for, but screw it. Apparently those guys just terrible at their jobs, and we dealt with a terror attack down in Johannesburg, and did pretty damn well, I would say. I mean, a few people took some bad knocks, and two civilians were killed, but... In all fairness, during an alien terror attack, literally two people being killed, that is a good result. Especially as they didn't even matter, they were just civilians. The important people all survived, which is to say my people all survived. So life is just marvellous. Anyway, let's crack on today. In seven days, the council will want to have a word with me. We've got new satellites coming in pretty darn soon as well. So at the beginning of May, we can actually have some new satellites up in the air, which will be very exciting. Shame I didn't actually do it in a better order. Because if I kind of built things in a better, more sensible order then, yeah, actually, we'd have ended up in a world where I could have got those satellites up in time for my beginning of May or end of April paycheck to include the money from those. But no matter, we'll just make do. Right, begin scanning. Let's see what's going up or if we're going straight over to the council report. Because, nope, we've got alien abductions. Fine. Basic thing to start off with today. That's okay. I need to take out some rookies to get them trained up. So let's view the abduction sites here. Down in Nigeria, we've got ourselves a moderate difficulty mission. Low panic thanks to the fact I dealt with the terror attack down in South Africa. Okay, and that would get me a sniper. Wouldn't mind a sniper. I'd quite like one of them. I have been saying I need a second sniper, and I don't happen to have drawn one yet. Over in China, there is a very difficult mission to get hold of four engineers. Engineers would not be the worst thing in the world. And I was kind of hoping for money, actually. If someone had offered me money, I probably would have just taken it for money. Uh, what's going on in panic in Europe? Europe's okay. France is not great. Because France was... Yeah, France kind of got a little bit ignored previously. Hmm. Very difficult for engineers. I've got plenty of scientists. Okay, do I want the moderate difficulty? It's either the engineers or it's the sniper. So yeah, I've got plenty of scientists, I think, for the time being. I'm okay on that. Though, actually, I've just begun the plasma rifle thing. It might not be the worst thing in the world to go and help out with that. Because, yeah, that would speed that up significantly. And just for the moment, I feel like I've got enough engineers. I've got enough engineers to be building. No, but they get progressively more expensive, don't they? Yes, they do. Hmm... If I want to build more satellite uplinks next month, I'm going to need more engineers to fund it. Okay, ignore the sniper for now. It's either engineers for more satellites or scientists to get that plasma rifle in faster. And in either case, it's a very difficult mission, so this is going to be fun. Right, avoid the mistake I made last time. Like, every time I've had a choice, I've underestimated how important engineers are. Engineers seem very cocking important. We're heading to China. We're going to sort out the panic there, and then that means... Oh, but, hang on. If I do that, that means the moment my satellites become available, I'm going to be incentivized to shove one over Europe. Now, Europe is the one place I don't really want more satellites, because I already get the European continent bonus. Because, yeah, once you get satellites over all the countries, then you get a continent bonus. So I don't really want to put satellites over Europe, if I can avoid it, because I've already actually got the continent bonus there. So, I could ignore China and simply put satellites over Asia and that gets me bonus engineers on an ongoing basis. Ooh, now I'm metagaming myself, right. Okay, screw it, I'm going to China and I'm just going to take the engineers up front and I might shove a satellite up there regardless. So, John Down Under, Caden Alenko himself is back, which is beautiful. Actually, this might be the first time we've actually seen him in action since he... Okay, seriously, why did you take your scope off? Keep your scope. Your scope is excellent. So, yeah, he's now got the scope, which is marvellous. Michelle Green's still fine. Tabby's fine. Claire's got the med kit. Now, Boar, I think we need to get rid of you in favour of getting someone else on board. Because I do need a new sniper trained up as soon as possible, please. Right, Diane Edwards, welcome to the team. So you are just a basic starting person and you've got a frag grenade. Well, that's probably fine. If you die, you die and ideally will feed you a kill or two. And ideally will also feed John a kill as well. Because, yeah, as I understand it, high level snipers are ridiculously powerful. Thank you comments for telling me that. So if we can just feed John the odd kill or two, 
That'll be absolutely fine. Let Michelle get up front, Claire to support, and also murder everyone, because Claire's really good at murdering everyone, and everything will be fine. Now, actually, thinking about it, um, your loadout, would you have any chance like to have the, yeah, your shotgun right now does base damage 4, and a laser rifle that's up for grabs... Base damage 5 with critical chance of 10. The critical chance here is 20. Right, well, you're just going over to the laser rifle then. Hope Pan doesn't need it for the time being. He's just chilling out in the med bay. So you can just have yourself one of them. Lovely. I would give the laser rifle to the new girl, by the way. But the problem is, yeah, if she happens to die and she's going to be the most vulnerable person present, then there's a real chance that unless I can, like, get to her corpse, if we have to leave her behind, she's in an odd position, then I might actually end up losing the kit. Actually... I should give you the thing, because you don't have anywhere near enough health, do you? Do I actually have a spare vest for you? No, no I don't. Uh, fine. Who can do without a vest? Actually, Tammy, we did notice that you have literally all the health in the world. So how about, as you've got all the health in the world, you've already got eight. Tabby, you take a grenade instead, because then you can just be Captain Explosions. And the new girl can actually have herself a nano vest. Nice, lovely. So... You get the nano vest, uh, Claire's on the med kit, nano vest obviously for our frontliner as well, Tabby can just cause explosions, and John stays at the back with an upgraded scope, so should actually be able to start hitting some stuff, hopefully at least. So here we are, and we appear to be storming a train station or something of that nature. Uh, fine, the map is, we're starting in the bottom left corner, the map is very narrow. Okay, the map's super narrow and really quite long. Okay, so basically we're just fighting our way along a very long and narrow platform here. That's okay, and bear in mind there's an excellent- oh dear. Okay, there's a distinct lack of cover here. We got some good stuff in the form of these here- yeah, these here actual signs, but other than that, there's a lack of cover. Can I go inside here? It looks like... I mean, could I? I? I don't know. And also, can I get up top? I might be able to. I'm not sure yet. I mean, this game, I guess you would be able to. Uh, okay. Who can start off doing a nice, big, long move? Uh, Claire, you can do a nice, big, long move. Why don't you just yes, move over yes. here? Have a little look, see what we got. The answer is nothing so far. Right. Everyone just move forward. Oh, yeah, you can totally go inside the tray. Uh, however, the train is full of low cover. Yeah, we've got real problems here, which is the amount of good quality cover is extremely limited. Claire, stay there for the time being. No, actually, let's just move everyone else up. Everyone else, just move up here. And we'll just see what we can do. Ah, thank you to the people who gave me the tips for John, by the way. Obviously, if John's got nothing better to do, he may as well switch over to pistol and just overwatch with the pistol. It won't do much, but it will do something on the off chance some enemies do show up. Now, I'm just going to overwatch on this first turn on the off chance that a whole bunch of aliens actually spawn in and start attacking us immediately. Uh, Michelle, you can just dash over here. No need for you to actually activate your running gun yet. We'll save that for the right moment. And Edwards, you should probably stay towards the back, to be honest. I'm just going to keep you safe and at the back for the time being. So you just overwatch there and we'll wait to see if there's any immediate alien movements. No, they're waiting to be activated. Now, this is where things get a bit tricky. Which is... What are we going to do about the fact that there is extremely limited cover going on here? Like, half cover, half cover, half cover. The next full cover is all the way up there. But if I dash over there, then only Michelle Green can get there with run and gum. And even then, she might actually be able to. Uh, actually, she just could. She just could, but then she'd be over there and really badly exposed, and everyone else would have to push up through half cover. Okay. The alternative is send someone inside. Aha. If we send someone inside the train, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Fine. Let's just slowly push on up here, see if anything activates. Moving. So, Michelle, over to you. Right. Don't actually activate anything with her yet. Claire. Get up here. Still nothing. No sign of anything at all? No. Okay. John Down Under, of course, wants to stay fairly close to the rear. 
and he may as well just overwatch because we need him towards the back anyway. Okay, let's just slowly move up till we find something. Okay, now the advantage of this position is Claire can get up to this good spot in good cover. And we got something. Okay. So, Claire's moved up to a spot immediately. Those guys will now presumably get their... No. They don't need their activating shot. Uh, Tabish. Just in theory, how far can you actually fire your Doom Rocket? Because your Doom Rocket is... Ooh. Okay. I tell you what. This strikes me as a very, very good idea. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. The problem is if Tabby misses... Potentially Tabby hits Claire. Also, I apologise to the Chinese for the damage I'm about to do to their transport infrastructure. But screw it. Go, 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 go. Fire the mega rocket. And the answer is... Oh! <laughs> Everything is good. Right, so that, that I would say is an excellent use. An absolutely exquisite use of the nuke launcher. Right cocky there. Now, I'm going to send Tabby over here just to basically look out the window at the other platform. So Tabby just heads over here and does not immediately see anything. Fine. Tabby's just going to move through this all. Fine. There's something up ahead, which is not too surprising, really. Uh, the problem is I've kind of ever so slightly destroyed all the good cover, uh, which is a slight problem because I blew it all up. Um... So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Uh, Claire's got Claire's got plenty of health, though. Yeah, Claire. Actually, no, you know what? We know they're close by. Michelle Green, activate running gun. Going in for the kill. You are going to sprint all the way over there and potentially get another shot in. So Michelle Green's running forwards. Damn, nothing. That's a shame. I should have waited. No, actually, you've got to activate it before the second move anyway, so I wouldn't have known whether there was going to be anything there. I'll just overwatch her, and we'll use her to cover a fairly rapid advance at this point. Oh, something just broke. Possibly that was just destruction of... Oh, I see something. Now, uh, John with his rifle is on overwatch. In theory, is he going to get... Well, someone is. I think that's actually Michelle. No, nah, it's taken a shot and missed, unfortunately. Now, technically, we have sight... I mean, how long is that? No, naffed off in that direction. Fine. It's just sectoids, though. It's that? just sec. It's the sectoids. We just saw them. Right, okay. Tabby's now a little bit isolated in this carriage. Probably what I'm going to do. Yeah, Tabby's just going to basically run forward over to here. See what we got going on. Bear in mind it's going to be... Oh, dear. Okay, I've now got five sectoids active in that area. Hmm... It's moments like this, I wish I had a second rocket. Uh, on the plus side, what we do now have is... Yeah, we've got good cover. Everyone over here is now in really good cover. Uh, and she doesn't have a shotgun, so she can stay back in safety. we got John as a sniper, who has got a... Not even a terrible shot, to be honest. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. If we could just clear out, say, the uh, some of the stuff in the way, that'd be marvellous. Uh, alternatively, I might want to just move John forward in a dash. Okay. What I probably want to do is I want to move these people forward. Michelle is nice and tough. Michelle, move forward to here and just take a shot. Uh, it's not going to be a great shot. Yeah, 50. Oh, blimey, that's 56 and John's got 71 from back there. Okay, I'm beginning to see the advantage of snipers. Yes. Uh, screw it, you've still got a couple more shots. Take the 50-50. Ah, that's a nice shot right there. Lovely. Uh, so... I know this, the music's gone back to cock. I know for a fact there's more cock and aliens than that, all right? Don't even pretend. Uh, right. Claire, move over here. You are also... I love how Claire's a support character who's now regularly frontlining. She's great instead. Uh, probably best for you to just overwatch next to Michelle. Um, Edwards, move forward. And John... Yeah, screw it. Both of you just dash forward into a good position. And John should be able to start picking them off pretty darn soon. And with that, everyone's in a really nice position. Yeah, everyone's in full cover. Right, aliens. I know they're active. I know they've seen me. Logically, they're going to start heading in this direction sooner or later. Any movement? We got something. Right, well, I've got at least a couple of overwatchers going on here. You going to take a shot? And they're pushing forward. I think he did like a double move there. We've got ourselves... Aha! 
he's psychicked into somebody else. And I think possibly Tabby has a shot at whoever's doing the psychicking. Um, you are being psychicked by I don't see who. Though, wait, hang on. I think... Wait, did that person run out here, jump out the window, and then was being psychicked by... Yeah, being psychicked by someone else. Uh, John, do you have a shot at anyone right now? No, no visibility, unfortunately. Uh, you have a shot only 51%, unfortunately. There. If you move to here... Position confirmed. Yeah, move to there. What have you got a shot at now? Have you got a better shot at anything? 54... Okay, I... Peer out the other way, but okay, you know what? Screw it. Just hollow target that person. That's okay. We're in a really good defensive position right now. May as well hold where we are for the time being. And that was a hit regardless. Nice. Good job. Uh, so that's one person dead. Probably safe for you two to move up to the next rank of really good quality heavy cover. Oh! That's an overwatch there. That is luckily a miss. Good. And you've just destroyed some of your own cover. Right. Claire moves into cover over there. Do you have sight of anything? No, you don't. Um, don't do anything just yet. Michelle Green is now safe to also move up, but if she does, that's a dash because she doesn't have the plus three movement. Uh, fine. Let's have Michelle Green move over there. Now, what are we going to do? We've now got visibility of that. John, do you have shot at anyone? Unfortunately, not just yet. Hmm... If I move John over towards the train, he might have a shot down the platform. Hmm, but then they're in cover over here. But it's only half cover. It's only a half cover. I mean, John and Tabby could make a really good team with holler targeting, providing a bit of backup while he's actually just moving up and firing. So if John was just a dash to here, be in an excellent position like back here or something, that could work. Though then I'm in half cover and I might theoretically trigger something over here. Because I haven't been over there yet and there might be something more. Um, Tabby, what have you actually got? Oh, no, Tabby's already done her business, sorry. Right, Edwards, what have we got for you? That does not like a great spot, to be honest. Probably best we just move you up into a safe position over here for the time being. Um, and then, just in case they move up, you overwatch there. Yeah, you can overwatch there. John down under needs to get into a better position to start sniping. He could just move over to here as a dash. Then he's got a shot all the way up the platform. Or he could dash over to here. Oh, that looks... Yeah, that's the better position. That's the better position for John right there. Right, John. Stay there. You're fine. Uh, Claire French, meanwhile, needs to... Actually, I'll tell you exactly what Claire French needs to do. Claire needs to drop a smoke grenade right on top of us because we're right now the primary target. So activate that smoke grenade. And we are now going to be much harder to hit. Because logically they're going to be taking pot shots at us right now. If anyone's going to take pot shots, it's them two at us. There's a psychic. Oh, is there a bloke over there I haven't seen? Right, there's a bloke over there I did not really properly see. Those two guys are asking for a grenade. If I could just sort it out. And no, they're scattering. But Tabby should be able to... Right, you're overwatching. Fine. And then there's bloody... Two of them over there as well. Did you only just activate? Okay, there's a lot of them. There's a cocking lot of them, apparently. So this mission's all about a large number of really flimsy guys. So, you are Captain... Wait, which one of them's overwatching? One of them's overwatching, and I don't know which one. Uh, Tabby, do you want to take a 51% chance at that person? Actually, you've got a grenade. Uh, what's the range of your grenade? Uh, you can... Barely even get over there, fine. Um... Hmm, we're a bit of an odd situation right now. I mean, technically you guys have got shots, but they're not great shots, are they? Um, 56 and 56. And they look like they're starting to try and flank us. Right, John, you're a sniper. Anything else you got a shot at? 71. Uh, that is the one in the middle. Five damage to the one in the middle. And I think you're being, yeah, you're being psychic powered. Eh, take a shot. Fine. 70%. And... Nice. Well done. Okay. So. One of them's down already. Tabby Novacat. You take a shot at... Yeah, 50-50 on that guy. Again, I feel like that's not how you do it. Fine. Missed, but the holo targeting's on them now. So now, uh, move over to... 
Who's got a shot? Uh, you've already... Wait, what have you already done? Yeah, green's right there. You have a 56% shot there. Um, who's got the other shot? You don't have a shot at all. You don't have a shot at all. Okay, seriously, I feel like that's an obvious shot to, to have, but okay, that's a dash. That's... I'm on the move. Get over there. Do you have a shot? You've got a shot. 56. I think that's the holo targeting person. Eh, give it a go. And... Yep, smash the window. Add another miss. Unfortunate. Uh, but you're in good cover. As long as everyone stays in good cover, it's fine. Claire, however, is in a bit of difficulty. How about you move yeah, over here? Because right now you're not really contributing much. And see if you've got a better shot. Oh, yeah, 83. Or 62. Yeah, take the 83. That's the holo targeting person, isn't it? So 83%. Nice. Lasered right through the train, and that's you dead. Lovely. Uh, and Michelle Green probably is safe to... Actually, you know what? Have you got a shot? Yeah, take 50-50. Go for it. And kabloom! Nice. Well done. Okay, we got lucky with some bad probabilities there. Alien activity. We got one more over there. What are you doing, my good man? We got one and two... And that looks wide open for a grenade to me. Uh, I'm pretty sure we didn't see them overwatch, so we're okay. Uh, who's actually got a grenade by? Actually, you know what? I should try and feed you a kill. If I can, you should be allowed to have a kill so you can level up. Right, where can you get that's safe? You can get to there inside one go. I'm pretty sure these guys are not overwatching. Round here. You've got to have an okay-ish shot here. Uh, that is 55 or 52. Okay, hold out right there. Because I think we can finish these guys off regardless. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use Tabby here to basically come over and give you... Yeah, I'm going to use Tabby. Wait, Tabby does... Tabby doesn't have a shot full stop. Okay. Tabby, move up to here. And then you're bound to have a shot. But it's going to be a bad okay. shot. Which is what I want. Oh, apparently you flanked one of them too. So we got Flanky McFlankerson at 71. Or no, I want you to take the 50-50 shot. Because I kind of want you to miss. Don't hit. Be a good cat. There we go. Good. Well done. Right, so. That person has now been tagged. Which means that Edwards. Go down Edwards. Has a chance too. Yes, yeah, 62%. Take the shot. If she misses, then we'll just basically finish these guys off. Well done, Diane. Bloody hell. Uh, right, John, take your shot. You've got 81% of that guy. Everyone's now going to miss and Dan's just going to die. That's what's going to happen now. Yeah, now everyone's decided they're going to miss. Okay, right, what have we actually got left here? Um, actually, you know what? Uh, let's go into run and gun. I think we're down to the last few at this point. So, you, this is a really good safe position for you to get into. Get over there and then take your shot. Nice. 100% chance to hit or 80%. Take the 100 just for safety because I don't want at least one of these guys dead. Nice. Nice and zappy zapped. And who else have we got? We've got Claire right there who can get over to here and just basically finish off that person. Yeah, screw it. Claire, just head over there. Get over there with your bonus movement points and now just finish off 100% up to 6 damage. Gorgeous. And zappy zap. Is that the job done? We nailed it. Nice. Pretty happy with that. Brutal gift. Supposedly very difficult. Happy with how that went. So, once again, Tabby's been promoted. Because of course she has. She's now major. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, ooh. Apparently, we've got no options on this occasion. She's just got will to survive. So, reduces all normal damage by two. If in cover and not flanked. Ooh. Right. So, Tabby is seriously bulky these days. Nice. Love it. Michelle, meanwhile, has picked up... Yep, this is the first time we've got, I think, a character of this class up to here, right? So, fires a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage. Okay, I can really see the advantage of that, yes. Or, takes two shots against a single target in quick succession. Each shot carries minus 15 penalty to aim. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I can see the advantage of that, because you could basically, like, if there's, like, a really big, tough, tanky boss enemy, and I'm sure they'll be showing up sooner or later, then you could just basically run up to point-blank range with her... Wait, could run and gun? No, run and gun is just normal fire. I don't think you can use an ability after run and gun. So, 
I kind of prefer flush, to be honest. But I could see the bonus of basically being able to massively increase your damage output. But forcing a target out of cover so everyone else has a better shot. Like, that just syncs well with, like, the rest of the team. Hmm. You know what? I'll give her flush. And when Hopan gets up to Lieutenant, I'll give him rapid fire. Because I feel like that's kind of interesting and both of them are pretty good. And John excitedly has managed to actually get up to Lieutenant as well. Marvellous. So, allows the sniper to fire a shot that causes the target's main weapon to malfunction. The target may use reload to fix the weapon. The shot cannot inflict critical. And cool down two turns. So, main weapon to malfunction. I mean, I feel like if I've, like, got a shot, why wouldn't I just murder him? Or battle scanner. Scanning device that, when thrown, creates a new source of vision for two turns. Can only be used two times per battle. So he can basically toss something ahead that gives him visibility. That strikes me as better. I mean, neither of them strike me as fantastic. But, I'll say, disabling shot. Why would I want the main weapon to malfunction? Well, I guess technically that just takes them out of the fight for, like, one turn. Which, if you're going up against something ridiculous, like a mega monster with a million hit points, just basically forcing them to not be able to do anything the following turn, I can see that that would be of use. But then the visibility thing is quite useful too. Um... I'm going to go for Battle Scanner. That strikes me as fun. And if I get another Sniper, I will give him the other one. Because both of them sound fun. So panic's up across Africa and Europe. But panic in China's down by one. And I'm pretty happy with that in general. Let's just quickly check in with the situation room here. Uh, so. Yeah, France is looking nervy. So we might want to put a satellite up on them. And anything else? No. Nothing desperately of note there. Uh, three days to the council report. Okay. Let's see what the council has to say. Because if they've liked me two months in a row... How about a little bonus, guys? An incentive for me to do my job well. That'd be lovely. So, yeah. Scan for some activity, please. And here we come. Let's hear what we've got to say. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Very nice indeed. So, three scientists, one engineer coming in, just picked up 450 future dollars, and I've done well enough that they're actually happy with me. Grade A. Nice. We'll be watching. Okay, five days until the satellites. More importantly, yeah, Hopan's back on duty, and we've got a giant pile of money. Everyone likes giant piles of money. Now, five days to the satellites. What do we need to build in the meantime? Also, when I say I've got 455 future dollars, I need to kind of actually spend some of that already. So unfortunately, I'm already down to only 250. <laughs> Come on, guys. Give me a bit more money to play with here. I'm literally saving Earth. Commander, at this point, a foundry would certainly help us further hone the effectiveness of these new weapons and equipment. I'd recommend we get started on construction sooner rather than later. Okay, the engineering guys are hassling me for an actual foundry. Don't really know what one of them does, but as we're swimming in money right now, let's see what we theoretically might want to do. So, things I could spend my money on. Laboratory. 10% bonus adjacency, 20% to all research. Only cost 62. Tempting. Workshop. Same basic deal, so uh, yeah, that adds 5 engineers to staff, plus 7% refund on resources used when building vehicles, foundry products, and facilities. Satellite uplink, I need 20 engineers for the next one, but I think actually I've got spare capacity in my existing ones, because I think I've got 2 satellites coming in right now momentarily. But with two uplinks next to each other, I should have a capacity of six. So I should probably build two more satellites right now. Because then those two satellites will be ready before the end of this month. Uh, that's probably a good idea. Now a foundry requires three power and costs 75. Develop new combat items, improve current items. And satellite nexus. Yeah, we're okay for the time being. And... Yeah, I need more engineers before I can do any of that. Um, okay. 
what I'm thinking is if I can afford it, two satellites and a foundry to get into production. That probably isn't a terrible idea. So on the satellite screen, it's prompting me to be allowed to build one, but if I try and tell it to build two, it says not enough uplink capacity to launch this satellite. Now that doesn't strike me as right, because hang on, yeah, I've got I've got two coming in. Wait, wait a second here. Why is my capacity only five? That doesn't feel right. Surely it should be six. Ah, wait, hang on. So what it means is you get a bonus for an adjacency. Not everything in an adjacency gets a bonus. Right. Plus one satellite capacity for every two uplinks adjacent to each other. Fine. So you get a really big bonus if you can build four in a square. Got it. And right now, I don't have the engineers to plonk down a new satellite uplink. Fine. So what I should do, therefore, is... How many engineers do we actually have, by the way? Hang on. How many, how many engineers do we have? Just tell me about the number of engineers, please. 19. So I'm one shy of being able to slap down a new satellite thingy. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to get one from somewhere sooner or later. So, what I probably want to do is... Is there any reason why I can't... Yeah, get the order in for one immediately. Like, I may as well get the order in for one right now. Although I could just... Hmm. Okay. 189. If I just got three in. If I just ordered them now and worked under the assumption I'll be able to build them later. Because those cost 20 days to build. But wait, I could force more engineers onto my staff by using a workshop. Now that would be interesting. That would burn three power. That would cost me 65. Okay, so that would get me down to about 190-ish money. And that would mean that, yeah, okay, 190-ish money. And I'd have the engineers to slap down as soon as that's done... I'd have the engineers to slap down a new satellite uplink. Or, hang on, satellite... No, not a satellite nexus. Wouldn't be able to afford that. I'd just have a satellite uplink. Okay. And then a satellite uplink. That would cost me 100... Oh, 150. Then that pretty much burns all my money. And then I can't actually afford... Right. Let's not jump to that assumption. Because I don't know I'm going to get enough money in this month to even afford that. I don't want to burn my money too quickly. Let's instead... Just play it calm and build one thing that the game has prompted me to build that's actually not exactly cheap, but the guy was yelling at me and I don't know what it does, so go on then. I'm going to get a foundry down. Begin construction of that foundry. Going to take you 10 days to do that. Also, begin building one satellite immediately. That is another big cost. So now I've got two satellites coming in five days, another one coming in 20. I've still got 118 credits, and I want to hold on to them because I want to ideally, before the end of this month, get a new satellite uplink built there, and then potentially a satellite nexus built right here as well. But there's one other thing that I need to like not forget about, which is Officer Training School... I could right now have squad size 2. Six soldiers strikes me as a really good idea. Like, really important, because then I can get more rookie... Yeah, okay, screw it. I'm just spending that money immediately. Okay, it's fine. Everything's under control. I know what I'm doing. Now, who's currently actually in or out of service? Oh, actually, everyone but Marcel's ready to go. So we've got a really good, solid team right now. Love it. Right, in which case, just head into mission control. Let's get some time ticking by here. This will all be fun. Hopefully we'll get the satellites in. Nope, we got standard alien abductions. Fine. Those are speeding up a bit. So, what have we got as options here? Heading over to Asia, where panic is manageable, but a little bit on the high side, for a very difficult mission for four engineers. 200 future dollars to head down to Argentina, where panic is fairly high. Or down to South Africa for a... Oh, a captain level sniper. Ooh. Ooh, that's tempting. But I would not mind having 200 future dollars. 200 future dollars will pretty much pay for the next satellite uplink. 
which I can't build yet anyway, because, wait, do I have that? No, I need one more engineer to make that run regardless. But, in just two days, I will be able to shove a satellite over the top of Asia, which I think gets you... Does that get you a guy immediately? Doesn't matter, because I'll be able to use that money to buy, like, workshops to force myself to have more engineers. Yeah, we're going to South America. Uh, we're going to sort out Argentina, and we're going to use that money sensibly, probably, anyway. And we've got a new empty spot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that amazing team of amazingness. But remember to stick with the plan here. Get rid of Pan. He's okay for the time being. Let's get some more rookies out there. Who wants to come along? Um... Peter Smith, have you come previously? And Gerald, I think Gerald Bowes has come out previously. Right, we'll bring you along too. Everything will be fine. So here we are in Argentina. Fairly standard stuff here. Just aid and abduction. And it looks like we're basically going, yeah, we're going on a long corridor down in this direction. We're starting in like the bottom left and we're working our way up and to the right. Fine. So probably best we just start off by having a little poke inside this building. No bombs, no anything special, but this was flagged as difficult, but not very difficult. So, hopefully, we should be able to handle all of this. Let's just quickly move over in this direction yeah. towards the building. Nothing as yet. Fine. Keep it moving. Right, first things first, let's get my sniper on some high ground here. Right, That'll give us a bit of a view. Anyone up top here? here Into go. a nice bit of... Oh! Okay, got a couple of thin men up top here. Immediately, they are sprinting for cover over there. Probably need to send some reinforcements in that direction, in that case. Right, Edwards, how would you like to nip upstairs and help out with all of this? I didn't see them overwatch, so I don't believe they actually are. So, Edwards, get over there and... Actually, can you get over to... They're over this side, actually. Get over there and see what you can do over there. You and John, get up top, provide some cover if you can. So get over there and in cover. You apparently have a shot. Uh, it's not a great shot, but tell you what, 50-50, take the shot, go for it. They're apparently in half cover, you're in full cover, take advantage of it. That looks like a hit to me, very nice, well done. Uh, so one dead already. And so we've got another little baby plasma rifle, which I'm assuming we'll be needing. Uh, John, open up the door if you can. Well done. Do you have a shot? No, you do not. So as you don't have a shot, you may as well go over to the pistol and overwatch with it because screw it, that guy might move. Uh, so over here. Meanwhile, the rest of the team downstairs can simply move in and we'll see what we can see. So, Michelle Green, take the initial move straight through the window, you great big drama queen. Oh, blimey! It was only natural to assume the aliens would have something specialised towards frontline combat. This hulking creature appears to be that unit. I don't envy anyone who is to go up against that thing. Right, Tabby, I think I've figured out what we need you to do. There's a bunch of guys over there that need hitting with a nuke. Tabby... Get into position, please. Okay, uh, Tabby is basically gonna get over here and is gonna, yeah, just try and nuke those guys as fast as possible. Uh, so Tabby, just over you pop. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be a good position for you. So Tabby moves along over here, gets into a good position on the- Oh, flip! Oh, cock, there's more of them. Okay, this is- this is concerning. This suddenly got really concerning. Right, Claire, we're going to be needing your support for this one. Um, get over there and get that smoke grenade down. Um, yeah, right over here and smoke it up. Because uh, we're not in a good situation right now. So this will provide some cover for the moment. So yeah, get that smoke grenade in. Thank you very much. And momentarily, I think John needs to ignore the thin men and just get some shots in from above. Oh dear, this is... This is concerning. Uh, Michelle is technically... She's already done her move, hasn't she? I think she needs just to get over here. Actually, she could activate run and gun. She could activate run and gun. And that would probably be... Yeah, screw it. This is a good time for run and gun. Uh, just get the run and gun on. And then get over to... Here. Right, okay. Now she can overwatch. Uh, she's got a shot, but it's not a good shot. 
Screw it. Just Overwatch. They probably will try and move forward. Um, you, Bows, good news. I think potentially you're kind of being sacrificed a little bit. Um, yeah, you move forward into a better position. Provide some cover if you can. And what do you have? You've got... Actually, you know what? He's got a grenade. Okay, Bows. I've got a flip. He's not in range. He's not in range of anything. Ah, gosh darn it. Okay, they might have to move. Just Overwatch. Next turn, he might have to be sacrificed. Okay, this is... This is getting nasty here. Right, Thin Man. These guys are... One of you's going and got a shot. That looks like a hit to me. Yep, there's four hit points to that guy. But now your Overwatch is burnt up. So, one of them's a bit wounded. Uh, what are the rest of you going to do? Anything? They're going to take a shot at... That looks like a miss to me. What about you? You're going to take a shot at... Same guy, I think. Yep. That's lucky. Two misses on someone not particularly well covered. Thin Man's not doing much. That guy's naffing off. Good, he can just naff off for the time being. People not shooting works for me. Okay. And he's decided to just basically walk to the other side of the map. What about this guy? Anything? Okay, he's going for that, but... Ouch! That's six damage and that's no good. Right, Claire needs to keep Tabby safe. This is... Okay, what the cock are we going to do here? Who have you got a shot at, if anyone? Uh, literally just that guy. Okay. Um, are you one of... Yeah, you're one of the newbies. Uh, any chance you could get over to... That's a dash. Okay, what the cock are we going to do here? Right, so... Potentially... We're going to put this guy in a terrible position. But we might be able to actually clear up some stuff here. This guy needs to go down. These guys need to start being knackered. Tabby... Ideally, Perfect World needs to back the hell off. Uh, Tabby... How good a shot do you have with your nuke launcher? Because you've got yourself. That is, shot is blocked. Oh dear. It turns out that is... Oh no. Okay, there's there's a 90% there. There's... there's Right, right. I saw it. Don't, don't lie to me. Tabby's got a shot 90% over there. And even if it misses, it should hit something. And it shouldn't hit any of my guys. Okay, we've got to try this. Those guys need to go down. Then the new guy needs to snipe off the robo guy over there. Yeah, do it. Take the shot. Tabby, this one's up to you. Fire the nuke launcher. Okay. Right, so those guys turned out to be not dead. And now they're doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but it's... Oh dear. Actually, wait. That, that kind of works. Tabby just basically ran away and yelled, I want to go home. But actually, that means Tabby got to take the shot and then retreat. <laughs> Which actually kind of works. Um, okay, hang on. Right, so those guys are now pretty screwed. You move over here, get a grenade on them. Uh, you might be about to be hit by Overwatch, I don't know, but... Um, good news, guys. We're manually aiming into you. Uh, so, we got ourselves the manual shot right there. That will finish off both of these bastards. Which takes the heat off Tabby. So, grenade. And kabloom. Right, both of them dead. Okay, 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 okay. Don't panic. Everything's under control. You've already used your charge forward ability, unfortunately. There's someone at... Okay, you've got four hit points over there. There's... Also, don't forget, there's another one of these bastards back over here. Who potentially... Yeah, okay. Michelle might want to go back over here and just basically say screw it and smash that guy. Uh, you can get to there and then basically just hit him directly in the face. Is there anything better for you to be doing? Honestly, I don't know. You could... No, that's a dash and you can't dash right now because you don't have uh, your ability on a, a run and gun. Which is unfortunate because otherwise actually you probably wouldn't have had a hit over here anyway. Okay, uh, yes, that's probably for the best. You get over there. Now, what you can do is you can just shoot this guy just point blank in the face. Yeah, that's fine. So, boom, boom, boom. He's down. That was a critical we didn't actually need for anything. Now, what the hell do we do next? There's a thin man up there. Thin men are 
bad, but not the worst. What are we going to do? Okay. Because the new girl up here, this is Diane Edwards, I think. She could have a shot. She might have a shot over there, if I moved it correctly. She might have a shot down at this guy, and she might have an advantage there. John, unfortunately... Okay, if he gets his... Let's just check what John can do. If we get out your sniper rifle, you've literally got one shot, and it's at that guy. 74% chance to hit. Not exactly a sure thing, is it? I think we need to take it anyway. That thin man needs to be taken out. Come on, three quarters chance. Come on, John. That looks like a kill to me. Okay. Thin man just went down. That area is now secure. Right, you need to come over to... Do you have a shot? You don't have a shot at anything right now. Come over to... No, 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 no. Well, on the plus side, you're in the smoke. Okay, this is this is not good. Um, 25% chance to hit. Screw it. Hunker down. Um, reduce the sight radius. Oh, balls. That was just a misclick. Right, just hunker down and hope. Claire, what could you potentially... Claire could get over here. Okay, Claire, get over there and provide support over to here. Come on, I believe in you. 42% chance to hit. Come on, Claire. Come on, Claire. Oh, you can always trust Claire with the clutch. That's just activated two more people. Great. I'm so glad two more have just activated. Enemy activity. Fired into someone. That's a miss. That's yet cocking more. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody, bloody hell. Um, also, Tabby is still panicked. I think Tabby's not doing anything right now because Tabby's freaked the hell out. Okay. Well, does anyone else have a grenade? Well, I bet Tabby's got a Yeah, Tabby's got a grenade. <laughs> Just can't cock and use it. And Tabby is extremely vulnerable right now. Right, what are we gonna flipping do? Alright, Claire can actually flank these lads. That's not too bad. Claire can flank, then she's gonna be in a difficult position, but... Yeah, actually, that's not even that bad. Uh, where's the best place? She can't get over there. I'm sending my support forward to bloody do... Oh, yeah. Oh, flipping, yeah. Oh, I think you're pretty boned now, aren't you? If only you had a grenade. I wish she had a grenade. A grenade would be great right now. Uh, who else have you got a shot at? That's that's the more sure thing. Take the shot there. And... Bloody hell. Great. Well done, Claire. Um, Right. Okay, okay, okay. Tabby's in danger. If anyone shoots Tabby... Tabby's in a lot of trouble. Does anyone have any form of, like, actually good shot? Uh, that's a dash. You you literally can't get into cover, can you? Great. No, no, you can't. Um, and you haven't got a grenade. Right. Uh, you, my good man, you can get over here and get a shot. You can get over here and... What damage does your weapon do? That's up to four. Okay. I'm going to sacrifice this person in an attempt to save Tabby, though. Ooh. John, what can you do? Can you hit... You, John can't hit anything right now. Okay, good. John can't hit a thing. Uh, John, however, can get over to here and then just hunker down. Uh, which is actually probably safer for John to be right in the corner. And then, yeah, you got two shots, which are not great. Change over to pistol. And then you do have a shot there. 84% chance. Uh, only up to two damage. Okay. Uh, screw it. Take the shot. Go for it. And that's a hit of one damage. Beautiful. Uh, hopefully be able to do better later. Okay. Um, do I want to basically just sacrifice this guy to try and keep Tabby safe? I think I do. Um, you get over there. And just start shooting these bastards. Shoot them at point blank range. That's apparently 50-50. <laughs> Great, well done. Um, yeah, that's another miss. Okay, this is this is all going well. Michelle Green, you need to basically sprint over here and get involved as soon as flipping... Yeah, that, you know, that's not a bad position for you. Get over there, throw yourself into that cover. Okay, and now Edwards also has not much of a shot. Edwards has already been on one mission. I don't really want her to waste her turn. Anything we need to worry about in terms of... Oh, blimey, 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 blimey. This is... That's poor cover. That's poor cover. That's non-existent cover. Could just dash over here. 
Yeah, okay. Get her dashing over here. We need to basically get some cover going on. That's fine. Get over there. Oh, this is... I'm not enjoying this. And... Okay. Shoot that person. I'm so sorry. Also, your hair ceased to exist for a minute. Got a bloody critical. Of course he did. Right, we lost someone. I think that was the new lad, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And then that's the cover gone over there. But, oh, Flip, what are you doing? Taking a shot as well. Okay, good. Tabby's still safe. Tabby, I need you to calm the hell down. Seriously? Chill out. Already got one kill. Taking a shot at Claire. That's good cover. Okay, we, we got a dead guy. Oh, Tabby's back up and about. And Tabby's got a grenade. Everyone else is unfortunately chilling out there. Uh, right, change weapons. Okay. It's fine. Everything's okay. Right, sniper rifle back out up top. John has an 84% chance of hitting you. 100% chance of hitting you. 100% chance of hitting you. Okay, that, that I'm starting to approve of here. Take out the person at the back. 100% chance to hit at the back there. Okay, sniper, starting to do the cocking job there. Well done. Okay, John's doing the job at least. Now, things we need to focus on right now. If Edwards could go and just murder... Actually, does Edwards have the damage to be able to murder that person? Your weapon is up to four. I suspect you won't actually be able to do four when it comes to it. Okay. If Claire moves over here and has a shot over here, that might be good enough. Because what I want to do is get a grenade on these bastards. Which Tabby can totally do. So Tabby... Get over to... Where the bloody hell is cover? If Tabby goes over here, Tabby's in cover. Tabby can't heal right now. We're kind of struggling for that. Tabby could just literally run forward and toss the grenade in. Like, from there, just toss a grenade. Job done. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, okay, Claire. Claire moves over here. These guys are not in great situations. Uh, you, 100%. 95%. 72%. Come on, Claire. I need you to do this. Balls. 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 Okay, who else is... Isn't someone else up there? No, no one else is up there. Um. Okay. Okay. Green. Green, 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 green. Oh, why didn't I just use green? That would have made way more sense. Um. Okay. Green. Run and gun, please. Run and flipping gun. Uh, basically, we are going for Operation Shoot This Bastard in the Face. Um, so you, get over to there, you'll have a shot straight at him. So just dash over in, just, actually screw it, just, just get as close as possible. Do not cocking miss this shot. There we go. Hello, I'd like to be friends with you. So, fire, fire, fire. I think he's dead. Good. And that is a light plasma rifle explodes into fragments. Lovely. Okay. Next up. You just basically need to get the hell out of there. Um, can you by any chance get over to... You can get over here. That's not bad. Get over here. And just basically take a pot shot at those guys. So you've now got flanked. 88% chance over there. Or 75. Yeah, just take the easy one. And kabloom. Dead. Okay. I think there's just one more. It's all up to Tabby now. Okay, all Tabby needs to do is get into a good position to shoot that guy. Cover has become irrelevant at this point. Cover is completely cocking irrelevant. Just get into a good position and get a grenade in. Just manually throw a grenade. So, in you go. And now, you might have a shot. No, you've only got a 56% chance to hit. Uh, so, in which case, do not do any of that. Uh, frag grenade for the guaranteed hit and that's your one right there. That's that's three damage. Three damage isn't enough. Uh, okay, Tabby, I've changed my mind. You need to get back out of there because you're going to be murdered. So get back into cover, please. Okay, um, I'm really sorry about this, Michelle. You're about to be hurt. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I was kind of expecting him to be dead. Uh, okay, now... Now we're okay. 100% chance hit, apparently. Get the kill, John. Up to you. Thank you very much. Down he goes. Another one down. Good work, Commander.
Right. Well, we lost a rookie. We lost a rookie and we took some knocks there. This is getting tougher. This is getting a lot flipping tougher. Ah, but Dan Edwards has been promoted, but unfortunately it's to bloody heavy. We've got enough heavies. Right, so Gerald Bowes died in action, which is a shame. We got yet another bloody heavy, because we don't have enough of them just yet. Michelle Green's going to take six days, and Tabby took a really major hit. Tabby's out for some time, which is a shame, because Tabby's really the backbone of the team. Uh, the Muton Autopsy will be ready to go, and we've also got ourselves a bunch of corpses and weapon fragments. So, we, will be we have got ourselves better. a big pile of money. And more importantly... <laughs> Way more importantly, the satellites are almost ready to go. That's two satellites coming in in just one day. All right, let's get them up, and then we'll see what we want to do. So mission control, just, yeah, spend one day. No more abductions, please. Seriously? Serious cockingly. You want to have a UFO right... How did it land? How did a UFO land in cocking Germany? We have satellites and everything here. Oh, bloody cocking hell. Well, I guess we have to go and bloody deal with that then. Right, the wounds are starting to stack up here. They're really starting to stack up. I should probably, well... Okay, I'm tempted to spend money on the whole wounded thing happens twice as fast, either healing. I'm also tempted just to spend money on some infrastructure projects. I'm really tempted by that. Right, so... Peter Schmitz... Good news. Welcome to the team. Don't ask what happened to the last, like, you know, Netherlands rookie who joined the team. It's fine. And for once, we're going out without Tabby. Oh, that just feels weird. That just feels really weird. So, all right. Janus Bohr is going to have to go out, as is our new Sarge Edwards. So we got multiple rockets. We got a sniper. We got a really good support class. And yeah, we got Pam back as well. So we do still have an assault. And we got a rookie who needs to ideally be fed a kill or two. That'd be fine. And down the new team comes. We've got another UFO to storm. That was... That was tough last time. Actually, we did okay. But now I'm guessing... Oh, guessing that's the UFO over there. Right, so... I think we've got sight of her. Pretty much flipping immediately. <laughs> just, uh, Claire, just, just nip forward. Nip forward and have a little Luxie. If you'd be so kind as to do that, please. That's... Yeah... That, that there, looks like a UFO to me. So, that's enough for now, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed to actually have our first death killed in action. A rookie had to nobly sacrifice themselves so that Tabby might live. Um, I've started to realise, by the way, the potential problem with getting emotionally attached to the characters. And like, you know, naming them after my cat. Which is basically, there is no limit to the number of rookies I'm willing to throw their lives away in order that Tabby might live. And I'm sure that Claire will quite agree with my decision when she sees this as well. So, we will crack off with a UFO storming next time, ladies and gentlemen. And after that... The satellites are ready to go. We can put some satellites in space. We can get some nice bonuses going on. We'll figure out the best way to lay that. We've got more satellites coming in. And I've got a big pile of money to spend. So we need to figure out the best way to spend that. But I'm feeling like some combination of a workshop, a new satellite array coming in. Maybe actually looking what the foundry does. I don't know what that does. So we'll learn what that does next time as well. So plenty to come up very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been XCOM. Thank you very much and goodbye. You know, I really hope we've agreed open borders with Japan, by the way. Otherwise, they have basically just invaded. I may have picked the wrong fight over. Yep. And my sisters, of course, have got even more flipping high-tech, though mysteriously still completely dependent on, you know, an aqueduct. Now, I'm not saying your entire army is mostly already dead, but it kind of actually is.